Yeah, just starting the third grade. On his second day of third grade at Oak Ridge Elementary in South Sacramento, eight-year-old Dante Daniels didn't make it to school. He would never make it here again. This guy beat my grandson with a hammer mm -hmm. down to a spot and they couldn't save his brain. Early in the morning on September 1st, investigators say his mother's ex-boyfriend, 23-year-old DeAndre Cheney Jr., attacked Dante with that hammer. A criminal complaint alleges he also used lighter fluid. Six days later, Dante died. But remembering him rough. <laughs> brings a smile to his grandmother's face. Uh, he was a lot sensitive. He didn't play with the kids that were rough. <laughs> He didn't. He played baseball. And in his final moments awake, small as he was, Monique Brown says that the eight year old was a hero, showing incredible courage in the face of his accused killer. Trying to save his sister from this child molester. And that's why he was beat the worst. The criminal complaint states that Cheney Jr. murdered Dante while he was engaged in the crime of committing a lewd act on his sister. At some point, investigators say Cheney Jr. turned the hammer and a knife on her, as well as her mother. Brown wants the community to see how Cheney left them for dead. 28-year-old Elizabeth Salone. She's doing okay. She probably will never see out of her left eye. And 7-year-old Danae. My granddaughter, she will need a whole lot of help. What's helped them persevere through the suffering? These cards, flowers, and candles from the community. Their faith in God and in the fact that evil was not strong enough to steal Dante's heart. Dante gave his uh, heart to a 4-year-old. In, uh, in uh, Southern California to that four-year-old lives because of uh, 